I am not the ultimate fisherman. Press. But I'm getting there. About three quarters of the videos on my channel utilize natural baits. As a multi-species fisherman, I rely very heavily on the live and the cut bait because there are so many species of fish that are just too small to take a lure. But the ultimate fisherman has to be able to utilize artificials as well. So, a company called Euro Tackle recently came out with their version of a topwater popper. Coming in at under two inches, this one eighth ounce popper opens up the opportunities for multiple species on a topwater lure. So I'm pretty excited to get out there and give it a try and see what all we can catch on it. We're gonna go out to Cooter's Pond out here in Prattville, Alabama. It is super hot summertime weather out there, so we're gonna be getting up early in the morning and try to beat the heat and see what we can get to blow up on this little thing. A little bit later start than I'd planned on. I wanted to be out here at dawn and catch the sunrise, but as you can see, I was a tad sleepy today. So I'm using a six foot ultralight today, and that's not actually what I wanted to utilize for this lure. But about two days before these poppers got delivered to my house, I broke the tip off of my medium light setup, so we're going to make do with the ultralight. Just a tad too much bend in the rod. I can't tell if that's something trying to get it or something trying to run from it. I really can't tell. Aha, it was something trying to eat it. First fish of the day. Well, we're good old long gear sunfish. Absolutely. Got that entire treble hook in his mouth. Little bitty treble hook, so pretty much anything that wants to eat this tiny bait, we have a chance of catching it today. I'm interested to see how many species total we can land. Alright, got our little And he's gone. <laughs> Tried to do a nice release, but they just ain't in that mood today. And my plan today is not very complicated. I know y'all can hear it, but we're still right next to the boat ramp. All I'm going to do is mosey my way all along this shoreline and do one big loop around Cooter's Pond. I mean, until the heat runs me off for the wakeboarders once they all get out of bed and show up. It's Saturday morning. I didn't learn my lesson last time with the catfish, so we're going to try this again. Second fish of the day, if he stays on there. Little, little bitty bass, oh my goodness. But, he was hooked in the mouth. Little bitty thing, but that is our second species of the day, a large mouth bass. Alrighty, little boy, go get bigger. Whoa, nice flip. Let's see if we can't find something a little bigger. So the water's a lot clearer than I expected it to be. We actually have about two foot of visibility right now. So 
I've taken off the high vis black and we're going to go with a more natural looking bluegill color just because it seems like they're going to have a lot more time to study the lure before they get right up on it. Look at this gar swimming right up to me. It's a good sized one too. Rain's a tad early. <sighs> I guess it's time to head on in. It is a different day. It's about two days later, actually. Definitely not one of my best trips. Those two fish were the only thing I caught all day. It was just a, just a nothing day. But to add insult to injury, I also eventually got the popper stuck in a tree. And when I tried to shake it loose, it flew out and actually stuck into my leg. So... If anything, I can say that the hooks on this Euro Tackle popper are very, very sharp. I had no wire cutter, so I couldn't do the old snip and thread it through thing. So I had to just pull it back out the hole that it went in, barb and all. Luckily, they were small hooks. So, you know, not that bad. But there was no way I could leave my first top water video to that. So we've come back out to good old Otago Creek because I really love testing my luck. We have the same crap weather that we've been having all summer. Scattered thunderstorms, partly cloudy, hot and muggy as all get out. The rain that got me the other day has been falling non-stop all weekend so the creek here is pretty chocolatey and it's moving pretty quick. So I'm actually going to run all the way down to the end to where it turns into a pond and I got some more steel waters and we're gonna see if i can get this popper to do what i want it to do or get rained on one or the other so i still have the bluegill color on here from when i rage quit the other day well it's a fish. That's about as good as I can ask for on a Tauga Creek. Old bluegill. He wanted it too. Got all three trebles. Doggone it. Now he's going to be a pain to get off. Ah, so there's our little bluegill. Got all the trebles out of him. I'll admit it took me a little longer than I would have liked to get the treble hooks out of him. But I left my pliers at home like a dummy. There he goes. All right, I was not recording on that blow up. So what happened was, I'm gonna net him because I don't trust. Oh, the, he won't throw that hook. So what just happened was I tangled up my line, the slack, I had too much slack in the line and so it wrapped around the tip of my pole. So I quit recording while I was untangling it. My popper was just floating out there in the water. As soon as I get it untangled, I pop it once and then I go ahead and start reeling it in. And this thing just all of a sudden wants to smash it. So this is, uh, it's the fish that I wanted, but it's <laughs> bittersweet because I did not get him on camera eating. Well, there he is. The biggest fish that we managed to catch on this popper so far. A pretty skinny largemouth bass his head does not seem to match the rest of his body we're gonna let him go now and he's gone Ooh, hoo, hoo. That's the biggest bluegill of the day. Holy smokes, look at this thing. There, that's a good bluegill. Holy smokes. Look at this boy. There's your good size bluegill right there. Good old hand size. Nice. 
all right nothing new but i appreciate that that's good fun right there especially on that ultralight rod since i still don't have a medium light back that's pretty cool it is humid out here so we managed to catch three different species on the Euro tackle z popper and as a bonus win we actually did pretty good on a tauga creek for once there's still room for improvement of course but that was a decent sized bluegill and that wasn't that bad of a bass for this creek at least so we've marked the popper off of our list and there's just a whole lot of other lures to go through but until then y'all have a good one